Amen. You may have your blessed and wonderful seats. Amen. Amen. It's good to see you this morning. My name is Paul Monene, and I'm excited to be here this morning. I want to honor God for his servant, Bishop Jimmy and Pastor Alice, who are not in the house. Would we celebrate our parents? Come on, would we celebrate God's servant? Amen, amen. I also want to celebrate the ministers and the pastors, Pastor Brian, Pastor Beatrice, Pastor Angeshi, Pastor Joy, and every servant of God, and the leaders. Would you help me celebrate them this morning? Thank you for this opportunity to bring God's word. Amen, amen. Are you ready for the word? Ask your neighbor, are you ready for the word? I told you, you'd better have a neighbor. You'd better have a neighbor this morning because you shall talk to your neighbor. Your, before the end of this service, one of my assignments to make sure that your neighbor is your friend. Your neighbor is, that is one of my assignments. I will bring the word and I'll make sure that your neighbor is your friend. Therefore, look for a neighbor who is ready to be blessed. Buwana sfe sana. Na wale wambao haana jirani, ni hatari kukua kwa hii bada kama hauna jirani. Buwana sfe sana. We are in Isaiah chapter... Uh, 41 and verse number 14, Isaiah chapter 41 and verse number 14 and 15. That is the word of the Lord this morning that we were given to, that was given to us by his servant, Bishop Mark, the word of the year, and we'll be looking at it this morning shortly in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, fear not, you warm Jacob, you men of Israel, I will help you, says the Lord and your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. I'll read it again, fear not, O you warm Jacob. Fear not, O you warm Jacob, you men of Israel. I will help you, says the Lord, and your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Verse number 15, the Bible says, Behold, I will make you into a new, I will make you into a new threshing sledge. With sharp teeth, you shall thresh the mountain and beat them small and make the hill like chaff. Let me repeat it again. Let us read together verse number 15. Behold, Behold, I will make you into a new threshing sledge with sharp teeth. You shall do what? You shall thresh the mountains uh -huh, and beat them small uh -huh, and make the hills like chaff. We're still in the, in the theme, threshing the mountains. And I want us, uh, I will major today in the first verse, verse number 14. The Bible says that I fear not, O you home Jacob, because I will help you. Fear not. Let us read it together. One, two. Fear not, you warm Jacob, you men of Israel. I will help you, says the Lord and your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. The, the title of my message this morning is Help Through a Name. Help through a name. Help through a name. We have sung here the name, uh, the names of God, and we and, and 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 Pastor Brian has quoted a scripture that uh, them that call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And I want to share on a topic that I've entitled "Help through." A name, help through a name. If you have a notebook and you're writing it down, that is the title of our message this, this morning. Blessed be the name of Jesus. But before I go into that, I want to lay a little bit background. And uh, the question that we have this morning, we've been asking, we've talking this year, we've been talking about help. And the question is, what does help look like? What does help look like? I remember Pastor Brian posed that question to us on a midweek service, and I went home thinking by the way, what does help look like? The Lord has said that I will help you. He says that akona mpango ama atatusaidia. And you see the thing about God, he's not, he's not like our government, who, which says I will tukona mpango, lakini mpango I look for your neighbor, I talk to your neighbor and tell them, neighbor, the Lord is not like the government. Ambayo inaeza kuwa na nini, si tunajua kuna mpa, kuna mpango ya kutuwekea sewage, hapa zima, matuna mpango, but they may not be able to fulfill that mpango. But the Lord has a plan to help you, and it does not end at that. He has formulated a way by which he helps us. Blessed be the name of Jesus. And you see, the thing is, the help of God may not be tangible. The help of God may not be visible. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And that's why at times it feels like it is not help, because it is not tangible help. For example, you pray for money. There is no money that will come from the heavens. There is no money that will come from the heavens and fall down. Well, it has happened before as we've, we hear in testimonies of people, but most of the time that does not happen. And therefore, it is easy to feel like, what does help look like? What does help look like? Blessed be the name of Jesus. But when we read through scripture, God's help has been structured and has been put together in four ways. 
four ways that we see in scripture. Number one, God has helped us through a name. God has helped us through a name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Number two, God helps us through his word. God helps us through his word. God helps us through his word. We realize and we read scripture that, and it reminds us that his word is like a double-edged sword. It is sharp. His word either coming from his servants or his word to us through visions or dreams. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Number three, God in scripture has packaged help through Jesus Christ, his blood and the cross. God has packaged help through his blood, uh, the blood of his son, Jesus Christ. He has packaged help through the, uh, Jesus himself and he has packaged his help through the cross. Blessed be the name of Jesus. And that's why when we read through scripture, for example, you need help of healing. The Bible reminds us that by the stripes of Jesus, we were healed. That is a package of help. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And number four, the help of God has been packaged in the scripture through the helper, the Holy Spirit. The help of God has been packaged in the scripture through the helper, the Holy Spirit. In John chapter number 15 and verse number 26, the Bible says that I have sent a helper from the Father. Mm -hmm. I will send you a helper from the Father who will help you. I will send you a helper from the Father who will do what? Let us read together. One, two, three. But when the helper comes, who I shall send to you from the Father, the Spirit of truth who proceeds from the Father, he will testify of me. Therefore, number one, number one, you have said through a name that we'll be looking at this morning. Number two, help has been packaged through the word. Number three, the help has been packaged through Jesus Christ, the blood and the cross. And number four, help has been packaged through the Holy Spirit. Look at your neighbor and talk to them and tell them, neighbor, help has been packaged through the name Look for another neighbor. Look for another neighbor and tell them neighbor through the word. Look for another neighbor and tell them neighbor through Jesus Christ, his blood and the cross. And look for another last neighbor and tell them neighbor through the Holy Spirit. Blessed be the name of Jesus. You know why God focuses on the intangible help or the invisible help? Because you see what? The visible or the tangible help may not be sustainable. Let me repeat that again. Tangible help. For example, if I give you money, if you need one million, and I give you one million today, that it, there is a day that will come that that money will not be there. It is not sustainable. Blessed be the name of Jesus. But God focuses on the transformation of the inner man, helping your soul and helping your spirit and helping your inner man because when he helps your inner man, that, that, then that help becomes sustainable. It becomes, it, it, it is long lasting. It is an everlasting help. Blessed be the name of Jesus. And that was not the message for today. So we'll just speak to help through the name. That is the topic of our message this morning. Help through the name. We have said help through the word, help through the blood, and help through the Holy Spirit. Now to talk to your neighbor and tell them help through a name. Help through a name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Now when you read through scripture, through scripture help through a name, I will package it into two folds. Help through a name. God can help you by making your name become God can help you by making your name become. Or number two, God can help you by him becoming his name. God can help you by number one, making your name become. And number two, God can help you by him becoming or manifesting in his names. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And therefore, that is what we'll be talking about this, this morning in the name of Jesus. And therefore, when you talk about a name of a person, a name reveals our reality. A name of a person reveals our reality. The name of a person reveals our identity. Blessed be the name of Jesus. When we read through scripture, we find that there are men who are given their names. For example, in First Chronicles chapter number 4 and verse number 9, we find a name of a person called Jabez. Jabez, the Bible says that now Jabez was more honorable than his, let us read together one more time, one, two, three. Now Jabez uh -huh, was more honorable than his brothers. Uh -huh. And his mother did what? Called his name Jabez, saying, because I did what? I bore you in 
pain. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Number one, I've said that a name of Passover, a person reveals their reality. And therefore, according to the prophetic word spoken over the life of Jabez, he was supposed to be, to be what? Honorable than his brothers. Ah, she talk to me, Buana. The name of Jabez, uh, the prophetic name, was supposed, he was supposed to be what? Honorable than his brothers. But the reality of the name, he was, he did what? He was, he was a man who his reality was a reality of pain because of the name that surrounded him. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Somebody say amen. And therefore, despite the fact that he was honorable than his brothers, he lived a life of pain. Because of the name of a person reveals their reality. Number two, the name of a person reveals their nature and their personality. I am just getting there. The name of a person or a name of a person reveals their nature or their reality. The name of a person reveals their nature or their reality. For example, there is somebody whose name will be mentioned today. For example, if I talk about Pastor Brian, there is this nature that comes to your mind. According to how you have related to him. Bwana sifuwe sana. Kuna watu ambao kitaje jina yao unafikiria tu makasiriko. Si unajua kuna watu hii dunia. Nani watu wa mungu pia? Watu their nature is makasiriko. I mean, you'll never see them smiling. You'll never see them happy. Ah, turn to your neighbor and tell them that is not your portion. That shall not be your nature. Blessed be the name of the Lord. There are people who their nature, it is just frowning. If, in fact, you are just afraid of getting to know them or getting to, to be part of them. Blessed be the name of Jesus. The name of a person also reveals their character. The name of a person also reveals their character. Buana sifuwe sana. Ninaongelesha wa Kenya in the house. Do I have Kenyans in the house? Do I have Kenyans in the house? There are men in this nation no, with no names mentioned. They are not here. Uh, if you mention their name, their, their, their name, what comes in your mind, in your mind is something like corruption. Their name, it is not corruption Murongi or corruption Monene. No, no, that's not their name. Their name could be like Paul Monene. But what comes in your mind, in your mind when their name is mentioned, it is what? I'll turn to your neighbor and tell them that is not your portion. That shall not be your portion. That shall not be your character. There are people who, you, uh, when, their names are, uh, when their names are mentioned, the character that comes to you in your mind, it is what? Lies. Kuna watu tu waongo. Kuna watu tu, watu tu jina yao tu kitajwa tu najua huyu atanidanganya huyu. They shall not speak the truth. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Somebody say amen. Number three, the name of a person. Where are we? Number four, the name of a person reveals their ability. The name of a person reveals their ability. The name of a person reveals their ability. For example, let me give an example. Kuna watu wakitajo jina zao. What comes in your mind ni do. Hey, watu wa mungu buwana suwe sana. So you say, man, that is my portion. Kuna watu tu jina yao wakitajo. What do you think? Money. Their financial ability. Here in the church, there are people who, when their, name, their, name, them, uh, their names are mentioned, you think about their spiritual ability. For example, ule ndugu wa maombi. Ule ndugu wa maombi na ule dada wa nini? Maombi, that is what? Their ability, their names reveal their ability. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Somebody say amen. Therefore, number one, you have said the name of a person reveals their what? Hey, to angeleshane watu wa mungu. The name of a person reveals their character, their, bil, their identity, their reality. Number two, their nature. Number three. And number four. Hey, one more time. Number one. Eh, hey, number two, and hey, number three, number four. Look, tell you, coffee. You are a good student. You are a good student. The name of a person reveals their reality. It reveals their nature. Reveals their character. Reveals their ability. This is the same to the, the names of our God. They reveal His character. Reveals His nature. He reveals His ability. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And therefore, in point number one, this year the Lord is helping you by making your name become. That's where we are. The Lord helps us by making our name become. When we read through scripture, there is a man who is mentioned in Isaiah chapter number 41 and verse number 14. His name is Jacob. His name is Jacob. And he, uh, we, we know that his name revealed his character and his ability and his identity. He was a what? He was a con man. Uh, he was a what? He was a con man. See, we read through scripture and we see that. Look at your neighbor and tell them, Jacob was a con man. Jacob was, that was his identity. That was what? His reality. And you know, at times our names or our realities are not determined by us. For example, did Jacob call himself Jacob? 
uh, situongelesha na Jacob ndiye alijiita Jacob simeona zile memes number one, they didn't ask me for permission to be born and then now they expect me to be a lion they didn't uh, there are people here we are struggling because of our names and it is not our problem it is our background it is where we came from our identity at times our background gives us our identity and that was Jacob his parents named him Jacob and his identity was a what a con man and now he has conned his brother he has conned his brother Ezo and he has run away he has run away to uh, uh, in a land called so uh, uh, Sia in the city of Edom, in a land uh, in the city of Edom, blessed be the name of Jesus. And therefore, the Lord appears to him and, and tells him, Jacob, I want to bless you, but this is it. If I will bless you, you have to go back to your land. You have to go back to your land. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And therefore, Jacob is faced by a mountain. He is going back to the land, but he is facing the mountain. Who the mountain in this case is Esau, Buana Swesana, because Esau was looking to finish him. He was looking for him to maliza him. He stole his birthright. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And that is a mountain, Buana Swesana. And therefore, what does Jacob do? He had 400 men. He does what? He divides them into two. He divides them into two. He says, I will have two groups. To the east and another one to the west. In case wale atakiwe, I will know Nikubaya and therefore I will run away. That is a mountain. Facing Esau was a mountain. But that night before he meets uh, Esau, what happens? The angel appears to him. He was sleeping. Buona he, sana. And he wrestled with the angel. I am in Genesis chapter number 32 and verse number 24 to 28. Genesis chapter number 32, verse number 24 to 28. And this this is what the Bible says. Let us read it together. Then Jacob was left alone. Uh -huh. And a man wrestled with him until the day break. Uh -huh. Verse number 24, the Bible, five, the Bible says, Now when he saw that he did not prevail against him, what did he do? He touched the socket of his hip. Uh -huh. And the socket of Jacob's hip uh -huh, was out of joint as he did what? He wrestled with him. Verse number 26, the Bible says, uh -huh. And he said, let me go for the day breaks. And he said, I will not let you go unless you do what? You bless me. Verse number 27, the Bible says, uh -huh. So he said to him, what is your name? Uh, he said, my name is Jacob, a trickster, uh -huh, a con man. That is my name. Verse number 28, the Bible says, uh -huh. and he said to him, your name shall no longer be what? Called Jacob, uh -huh, but Israel. For you have struggled with God and men and you have prevailed. So when Esau met Jacob, he did not meet Jacob. He met what? Israel. This was the angel of the Lord and he had an option of telling him, I will go with you to meet Esau. But he did not uh, do that. He said, I will change your name. I will change your identity. I will change your ability. Ah, In other words, I will make your name become the blessed of the Lord. There are some of us in this service. The Lord will help you by changing your name. He will change your reality. He will change your identity. He will change your ability. He will change your character. Buona Swesana. Somebody say amen. I said somebody say amen. Another example is a man called Abraham. Is a man called Abraham who the Lord wanted to help. I'm in Genesis chapter number 17 and verse number 1 to 6. Genesis chapter number 17 and verse number 1 to 6. This is an example of Abraham. Let us read together. When Abraham was 99 years ahead, the Lord appeared to who appeared to, to Abraham? The Lord appeared to Abraham and said to him, I am the almighty God. Uh -huh. Walk before me and be what? Blameless. Verse number two, the Bible says, and I will make my covenant between me and you and you will multiply exceedingly. Verse number three, the Bible says, then Abraham fell on his face and God talked to him saying, verse number four, the Bible says, as for me, behold, my covenant is is with you. You shall be what? A father of many nations. You remember by this time, Abraham is an old man with no son. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Verse, we continue verse number five. This is what the Bible says. Eh -heh, no longer shall your name be called. Hey, come on, let us read it together by faith. One, two. No longer shall your name be called Abraham, but your name shall be called Abraham, eh, for I have made you a father of many 
nations. Blessed be the name of Jesus. You see, God had the ability of giving Abraham a son or a daughter without changing his name. But he realized, first, I need to change your identity from Abraham to what? Abraham. neighbor. This year, the Lord shall change my identity. Look for another neighbor who looks like a believer and tell them, neighbor, this year, the Lord is changing the reality around me. They have called me barren. They have called me the, 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 the one who, who walks in shame. But the Lord is changing what? My identity is changing the reality that is within me, is around me. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I'm in the third example. There is a man whose name is Peter. His name is Peter. Blessed be the name of Jesus. And I'm in Matthew chapter number 16. Matthew chapter number 16 and verse number 17. His name is Peter. We know Peter number one, he was a fisherman. We know number two, Peter was a man who could not be trusted. He did what? He denied Jesus. And that was his identity. We realized that Peter, he was a man who could be shaken. He was like a reed. That was his identity. Give us in the message paraphrase, yes. But this is what, Jesus, by this time, Jesus comes and asks them, by the way, who do you say that I am? Who do they say that I am? And then the disciples answered that you are, some of you, that some of them say that you are John the Baptist. Some of them that you are, say that you are Elijah. Some of them say blah, blah, blah. And then Jesus asked them, but what do you say that I am? And then Peter said that you are the Holy One of God. You are Jesus the Christ. And therefore, this is what uh, Peter, uh, Jesus said to Peter. Let us read Matthew chapter number 17, 16 verse number 17. Let us read together. Uh -huh. One, two, three. Jesus came uh, back and said, uh -huh. God bless Bless you, Simon, son of Jonah. Uh -huh. You do not get that answer out of the books or from the teachers. Uh -huh. My father in heaven, God himself, let you in this on this secret of who I really am. Verse number 18, this is what the Bible says. And now I am going to tell you. Come on, let us read together one more time. And now I am going to tell you uh -huh, who you are. Are uh -huh, really are you are what you are, Peter? Uh -huh, uh -huh. This is the rock on which I will put together my church, a church so expansive with energy that even the gates of hell uh -huh, will never be able to keep it out. Blessed be the name of Jesus. J Jesus comes and tells Peter that you are no longer the, 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 the fisherman, that you are no longer the person who can be swayed, but I am changing your name and I am making your name Peter. Upon this rock I shall build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail. Somebody go at your neighbor and tell them, neighbor, the Lord is changing my name. The Lord is changing my name. He's making me a rock. He's making me the blessed one. He's making me the favored one. He's making me the loved one. Ah, Somebody say amen. Therefore this year, the Lord shall help us by changing our reality. Some of us, we have walked through rejection. You are rejected. Buona suwe sana. Unajua kuna watu wata who expect wakatae mtu. Unajua kuna watu wakikukataa. Kuna watu wakukata. Eh, hey, it's good that I'm in a youth service. Kuna watu wakukata. Enyo wewe wewe umekataliwa. Unajua kuna watu wa mwisho wenye huyu akikoma. Ah, huyu amekukata. Yeah, 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 yeah. But the Lord is saying this morning, I am changing your identity. I am changing the reality around you that you shall no longer be the rejected one, but you shall be the favored one. You shall be the accepted one. Ah, blessed be the name of Jesus. Some of us we have been ignored for too long, but this year the Lord is saying that I am changing you by making your name become Somebody say amen. And the last example that I'm giving you is, is, is his name, Jesus. There is a man that his name is Jesus. His name is Jesus. And I am Philippians chapter number two and verse number five. Jesus. And the Bible says, let this mind be new, which was also in Christ Jesus. Uh -huh. Verse number, we continue. The Bible says, uh -huh. the Bible says, verse number six. Verse number six. He who did not. He, even though he was God, he did not uh, consider himself as God. Let us continue. Verse number six. Do we have verse number six? What to our media? What to our media? Verse number six. I'm here, Jirani. Jesus. Look, look. Talk to your neighbor and tell them, Jesus. Uh -huh. He who was though in the form of man, he did not consider himself equal to God. Uh -huh. But the Bible continues and says, and being found in appearance as a man, uh, who being in the form of God did not consider it robbery to be equal with God. Verse number seven, the Bible says, aha, uh -huh, verse number seven, the Bible says, 
uh -huh, but made himself of no reputation, taking the form of a bond servant and coming in the likeness of men. Verse number eight, the Bible says, and being found in appearance as a man humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even the death of, a, of the cross. Verse number eight, this is what the Bible says. Let us read together verse number nine, verse number nine, verse number nine, verse number nine, verse number nine. Verse number nine we are uh -huh. Therefore, let us read together one, two, three. Therefore, God has done what? Ex Hey, let us read one more time. One, two, three. Therefore, God has exalted him and given him the name which is above every name. Verse number 10. Verse number 10. This is what the Bible says. That at the mention of the name Jesus, every knee should bow and every time in those of in heaven and those on earth and those are under the earth. Verse number 11. This is what the Bible says. And at every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. You know what did God do? He changed the name of Jesus and gave him a name that is above every other name. He was the son of God and he was given a name. And the last time the Bible reminded me that we are sons of God through faith in Christ Jesus. When I read the scripture also it reminded me that as many as are led by the spirit of God they are the sons of of God and therefore if God gave Jesus a name that is above every other name this year the Lord is changing my identity and here on earth he shall give me uh, I don't know who I am talking to he shall give me a name Blessed be the name of the Lord. Here on earth, the Lord shall give me a name. A name that is above every disease. He shall give me a name. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Go and tell them, neighbor, this year my name is changing. My name, my identity is changing. They have called me pain for such a long time, but my name is changing. As he gave Jesus a name, I still believe he is the same God who shall give us a name. In other words, he shall change our ability. He shall change our character. He shall give us a nature that is like his. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Jesus was given a name. Therefore, we've come. Abraham was given a name. His name was changed. Jacob was changed. His name was changed. And by the way, Peter was also changed from Cephas. To Peter, Jesus was also given a name. Buenas Fesana. And when your name is changed, when your name is changed, you become like a man, Zerubbabel. We are in Zechariah chapter number four, verse number seven. A man and his name is Zerubbabel. His name is Zerubbabel. And this is what the Bible says. One, two, three. One, two, three. Let us read it together. Who are you, O great mountain? Before... Hey, let us read together. One, two, three. Who are you, O great mountain, before Zerubbabel? When the Lord changes an ident your identity, you become like, a, like Zerubbabel. And you can put your name there. That who are you, O you great mountain, before Paul? Who are you, O you great mountain, before Brian? Because this time around, the mountain has to respond to your name. Ah, uh, The mountain has got to respond. Who are you, O you great mountain, before Zerubbabel? Who are you, O you great mountain, before Pastor Joy? You shall become plain. Because this time around i am not facing you as jacob the con man i am facing you as israel ah uh, this time around jesus is not facing death of the uh, death as jesus the carpenter the son of a carpenter he's he's facing the grave as jesus given a name that is above grave a name that is above death ah uh, i came to speak to somebody today that this year you shall face that mountain and you shall say who are you oh you great mountain before zerubbabel who are you, oh you great mountain, before Paula? Who are you, oh you great mountain, before Pastor Beatrice? Who are you, oh you great mountain, before Kimu? Uh, those mountains have to respond because the Lord has given you a name. Uh, and tell them, neighbor, this year the Lord is making my name become. Therefore, mountains of unemployment and joblessness, you look at them and you say, Who oh, are you, oh, you great mountain? Before Paul, you shall become plain. You look at that sickness and you say, This year, who are you, oh, you great mountain? Before me, you shall become plain. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Give us that scripture, Zechariah chapter number four and verse number uh, seven. I want to give you an opportunity to put your name in that by faith, to put your name. I do not know what mountain you're 
you're facing, but you can put your name in that scripture. Blessed be the name of Jesus. One, two, three. Who are you, O great mountain? Before Paul, you shall become plain and you shall bring forth the capstone with the shouts of grace. Grace to you. Uh, one more time. Let us read it. Put your name there by faith. Put your name. One, two, three. We read it. Who are you, O great mountain? Before Paul, you shall become plain and he shall bring forth the capstone with the shouts of grace. Uh, those mountains, you have to speak to them. I came to speak to you, child of God. You look, gotta look to the, at those mountains and say, who are you, O you mountain? Who are you, O you mountain? I have been sick for so long, but who are you, O you mountain? I have been ignored for so long, but who are you, O you great mountain? I am tired and broken, but who are you, O you great mountain before Zerubbabel? You shall become plain. Because when the Lord changes your name, your reality changes. Your identity changes. Your ability changes. Your character changes. And your nature let me take it again. When the Lord changes your name, your reality changes. Your identity changes. Your nature changes. Your character changes. And your ability changes. The Lord shall make your name become. I do not know about you, but I know the Lord shall make my name become. The Lord shall make my... Look for another neighbor. The Lord shall make my name become. The Lord himself shall make my name become. I am no longer Jacob. I am Zerubbabel. Who the mountains shall respond to a name. Therefore, when the Lord is saying that I will make you into a sharp, threshing sledge, he, makes, he says, I will make you like Zerubbabel. I will change your identity. I will change your ability. I will change your character. I will change the reality around you. I will make you into a sharp threshing sledge. Isaiah 41 and verse 15. He shall make my name become Buana Sana. Number two, the Lord will help us by him becoming his name. And I'll be wrapping it at that. The Lord will help us by him becoming his name name him becoming his name blessed be the name of jesus you see one of the things that we realize about the names of god they are not selfish names like our names because some of our names we were given our names because we have to satisfy the the meru culture the kikuyu culture that's my witness when i show show imagine they knew that your grandfather was a witch but they still called you after those names buona sfe sana eh buona sfe sana some of them knew that your grandmother or your great great what grandmother was uh, was not a good person but they still called you by their their names but the names of god they are not like our names every name of god is a representation of his provisions of help every name of god is a representation of the help that he provides to us every help of god is a representation of the help that not even what the help that he he, he 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 wants it is the help that he wants to give to you and to me every name of god is a representation of help and i tell you child of god there are mountains that your name may not be able to thresh them there are mountains that you need the lord himself to become his name to manifest in his name buenas fesana and in john chapter number 17 and verse number 6 jesus comes and say that I have manifested, I, I have manifest, verse number six, I have manifested your name to the people who you've given and to me. Verse number six, the Bible says, Father, this is the hour, the hour has come and that you may glorify your son. I have manifested your name to men whom you've given out to me of the world. I have manifested your name to the men whom you have given me out of the world. They were yours, you gave me, to, you've, you gave them to me and they have kept your word blessed be the name of jesus therefore this year there are mountains that the lord will make your name become so that you may thresh them but there are mountains that the lord himself will become his name blessed be the name of jesus and the mountains of provision his name is jire his name is jire the lord your provider some of us are facing the mountains the mountains of sickness his name is rafa blessed be the name of jesus some of us are facing the mountains of addictions and our name may not help 
Even if they are made to become what? Our names might not help, but his name is Jehovah Tzikedu, the Lord, our righteousness. May the Lord become his name to you. His name is Adonai, the Lord, our master. Therefore, it doesn't matter what mountain you're facing. The Lord, may you pray that the Lord become your name to me. Lord, become your name in this situation. Blessed be the name of Jesus. There are some of us who feel lonely. You feel left out. You feel like the Lord, are you seeing me, my labor? His name is El Roy, the Lord who sees me when I'm alone. That was the prayer of a guy in the wilderness. His name is Eloi. There are some of us who do not have strength. We feel weak in our bodies. His name is El Sali, the Lord, our strength. Every name of God is a representation of help to you. Every name of God is a representation of his help to you. Is a representation to, of help to you. Some of us, we've gotten to the end of ourselves. His name is the Alpha and the Omega. When we've gotten to the end, that's where he said, this is my beginning. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Some of us, we are struggling with sin. His name is Kadosh, the Holy One of Israel. His name is Kadosh and is able to sanctify us. His name is Emmanuel, the Lord, together with us. And therefore this year the Lord is saying that I will help you by me becoming my name. I will help you by me manifesting in my names. Buenas sana. And you see the thing about the names of God, the names of God carry is power. The names of God carry is ability. The names of God are not just our names, are, are, just, are not just names to be mentioned, are not just like any other name. His name carries with it his ability and his power to work with us, to work through us. Buenas sana. And therefore this morning, that is the word that the Lord will help you this morning by number one, making your name become the lord will help you by him becoming his name so you help me preach to your neighbor and tell them neighbor ume, ume shika yo. look for another neighbor and tell them neighbor what have you gotten from that that the lord number one will do what he will make your name hey come on talk to your neighbor that the lord will make your name become a hair and number two that the lord will become his Look for another neighbor, Monyanaka, and Elewa. This is not only Pastor Brian. When you mix words, you know, opposite of this other one, uh, that the Lord will make your name. That's a, that's a good one. Oh, boy, boy. <laughs> See, this mommy, as we wrap this up and we pray for one minute that the Lord will make my name. This year, the Lord make my name. And number two, this year, may you become your name. Father, become your name to me. Make my name become and become my name. May you change the reality that is within me in the name of Jesus Christ. Would you lift up your voice and cry to Jesus that, Lord, this year, may you help me by making my name become. That my name shall no longer be barren. That the name, my name will no longer be the forgotten one. But, Lord Jesus, you you shall make my name become like Zerubbabel. That what are you, all you great mountain before Zerubbabel? You shall become plain. Ah, come on somebody, cry out to Jesus and pray the Lord Jesus. Oh, make my name, make my name, make my name, make my name become. Like you change Jacob to Israel, make my name become. Like you change Abraham Abraham to Abraham, make my name become like you change Simon to Peter, a rock, make my name become make my name, make my name. Come on, child of God, that that your name will be mentioned in high places. Ya kaso koto lo bo shata. Reko zeke tele bo shata laba. Ya kase ke tele bo shakata. That the Lord will lift you from the miry clay and set your feet upon the rock. He will make your name become to the glory of God the Father. Ya pa shakata laba. Like he changed Saul to Paul. He shall make your name become. Ya kosakata. Come on Shiloh Worship Center. Go 
call on the name of Jesus. Call on the name of Jesus. Ya pashaka zeke talaba rekozoko teleba. This morning the Lord is changing our reality. This morning the Lord is changing our identity. Wa razoko telebo shakata rekozeke pala shakata. Come on, let me hear you call on the Jesus. Call on His name. Ya koseke talaba shakata reba seke telebo shakata. And Lord, I pray, may you become your name to us. Oh, Zeke Shakatalaba, your name is El Shaddai, God Almighty. Your name is Jehovah Jireh. Your name is Jehovah Nisi. Your name is Jehovah Tikedu. Your name is Jehovah Rapha. Your name is Emmanuel. Your name is Jehovah Shalom, the Lord our peace. Your name is Jehovah Roy, the Lord our shepherd. Your name is Adam. Adonai, Mako Zeke Telebo Shata, Adonai Arise, Rako Zeke Telebo Shata Laba, Reko Siata Labo Shata, Raba Shaka Zeke Telebo Sata, Raba Zoko Tolobo Shaka Talaba, Rama Shaka Zeke Telebo Sata, Rama Shako Lia Siatana Mayanda, Reko Zoko Tolobo Shata Laba, Rama Soko Tolobo Shakata. May you become your name to us. May you manifest yourself in your names. Your name is Elion, God Most High. Your name is Adonai. Your name is El Olam, the Lord God Everlasting. Your name is El Gibo, the Lord Strong and Mighty. Your name is Kadosha, the Holy One of Israel. Your name is Alpha and Omega, our beginning and our and uh, make yourself uh, manifest yourself in your name ya raka sekatalaba make yourself manifest in your name uh, in the name of Jesus Christ ya na mashata labos yata Father, I pray to your people. I pray for your people, Lord Jesus. And everybody under the sound of my voice, may you manifest yourself in your names. To them that need provision, Jairi, may you arise in the name of Jesus. To them that have walked in shame for such a long time, your name is Jehovah Nisi, the Lord, our banner. May you manifest yourself in that name. Some of us, Lord, we are born by chains of addiction, chains of sin. Your name is Jehovah Tzikedu. May you arise, the Lord, our right Righteousness. Your name is Rafa. Some of us have battled sicknesses, uh, but your name is Rafa. May you arise in your name. Some of us, Lord, have no strength because of what they are going through. Your name is El Sali, the Lord our strength. Uh, some of us are going through battles and wars. Uh, your name is El Gibo, the Lord strong and mighty. Some of us, Lord Jesus, uh, desire to see you, desire to be led of you. Your name is Jehovah Rohi, the Lord our shepherd may you manifest your name manifest yourself in your name in the name of jesus we glorify your name thank you for your word let it bring life may it come alive in our spirit in the name of jesus be glorified and be exalted in jesus mighty name we've prayed god's people say amen god's people say amen would you lift up your voice above your head and celebrate come on give god a praise and a shout this morning Lift up your hands above your head and celebrate Jesus!